Why do Amish people arbitrarily think their level of tech is the right level? Keeping in mind that the majority of my knowledge of the Amish is chit-chat with my former boss who was raised and lived in Amish-adjacent communities and has had extensive interactions with them. It's not about the technology level. It's about self-sufficiency. They don't like to use things that cannot be made and maintained by themselves. The higher the technology level the more materials and labor you need from outside the community. They look at each piece of technology and decide whether it would build community or be a distraction. Each group decides this for itself. Bank I work at has special debit cards just for the Amish. They are normal other than they don't have a chip. I minored in Amish sociology. It's basically their fierce determination that the family and community comes first. And everything and everyone else is an outsider. Technology needs to benefit the community. Some modern technology is okay as long as it doesn't take over the home which is why you'll sometimes see battery-operated lamps and flashlights being used. But they're not allowed to have power lines running to the house or barn. The goal is to keep the community strong and focused on their faith. To that, many Amish sects are very big on adopting kids from troubled areas and countries. To help diversify the bloodline of the community while still being able to keep it closed off. There's just as many bad Amish people as bad everyone else. Though, some try to game the system. It isn't a shunning of technology as much as it is an avoidance of being emboldened to any entities other than God. So, an Amish farm might install a solar system on their roof, but won't connect it to the larger grid because that requires connection to a utility. They will use that solar connection for an e-bike they own, but not a cell phone because that requires having connection to a cell provider. It's a major misconception that the Amish don't use any new technology. They adopt new technology all the time, and may even be progressing faster now than ever before. With each new technology that an Amish group considers, they'll discuss it as a community, with their local church bishop and ask the question, will this bring us closer to God and each other? And if that technology would encourage them to listen, watch, follow external English news, travel further outside of their community, etc. They probably won't allow the tech. If the tech means they can produce better woodworking and sell at better prices and employ more members of their community, it might be seen as worth adding. Just because they dress and commute very differently than you and I doesn't mean they aren't changing. Most Amish homes I've seen lately have a couple solar panels on the roof to provide a small amount of electricity. Many of the wood shops I've visited include CNC routers and other advanced manufacturing tech. Source. M. Mennonite. Have visited many Amish woodworking shops and worked with them. It's less about a law and more about what they prioritize. They prioritize faith family, community, lifestyle. It is arbitrary to an extent. Because it is. They will view each new technology when their movement started and decide how to use it if at all. They are probably not consistent about everything. But that's okay. Most people are not. I went to university near an Amish village. They had a phone for example. But they wouldn't use social media. It's not crazy in my view. They used the phone because they had communication needs with the outside world. Furniture sales. But social media, smartphones would not good to adopt as it would interfere with their family, community focused lifestyle. They want in person communication and lifestyle within their way of life. It's not arbitrary. They're in a council which meets and discusses things as they come up. They allow some advances. For example, there is a large Amish community where I live. They run an amazing buffet restaurant. With a bakery attacked, they have a relatively modern kitchen with steamers. 
which they operate. However, electronic cast registers are a bridge too far and they hire locals to run that part of the business. Often Mennonites, they ride bikes all over town. Modern bikes use tons of technology that comes long after their time. They accept this because these bikes are better and safer and don't interfere with their beliefs. Their big believers in idle hands are the devil's playground. This isn't the whole answer but definitely a good part of it. Religion is a strange thing. They got rules and guidelines and stuff. They didn't just arbitrarily decide one day that circular saws were good and toaster oven were out. They weigh the benefits versus the downfalls and decide based on does this really make my life better. What's the point of instant oatmeal if you spend the next four hours staring into the abyss? Bear in mind that I am in no way Amish nor am I connected to the Amish community in any way shape or form. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. No I didn't I don't know why I felt the need to lie to justify my ramblings. I should heal from that. Carry on. I don't think the Amish view technology as a matter of the right and wrong level and more a matter of avoiding vanity. The Amish are very serious about avoiding vanity or anything that could be perceived as vanity. This includes new, flashy, cutting-edge technology. They do adopt new technologies, but they usually do it slowly, with permission from their church's leadership, and they keep the frills to a minimum. There are even Amish PC companies who build no-frills PCs that only allow basic uses such as book, keeping and letter writing. The Amish are also happy to use modern technology for business purposes. I shop at many Amish-owned stores in my area that have electric lights, air conditioning, refrigeration, the ability to accept credit cards, and even websites and social media pages. I've seen several Amish tradesmen using power tools to build and repair things. They don't. They discuss every new tech and decide democratically if they want it in their community or not. Each Amish community has slightly different rules because of that. Each Amish community sets its own rules. The biggest thing that they're looking at is that they generally try to avoid something that makes them dependent on outsiders to run it. So, electrical grid would be one example of that. Additionally, they tend to be more willing to make business use of stuff than personal. You might find an Amish business that has its own truck for work stuff and a website. But the people at that business probably don't have personal vehicles or computers. You probably won't find any Amish on this site to answer your question. The rest of you can only pretend you know the answer. Simple. They know that we know that they know that we know. Their whole civilization is zombie proof. It isn't arbitrary. They have way to assess whether new technology is beneficial or not to them in terms of living the life they want to live. There are Amish who do use modern technology in limited capacities because of the benefits versus the negative consequences. Here's a good summary of their approach. Skipping link communities have a long-standing history of families that are essentially beta testers who evaluate how new tech might integrate with their way of life. Instead of just asking questions like, does this make our lives easier? They dig into more philosophical questions like, do we like the kind of people we become if we start using this? Quote. Based on their experiences they decide as a community to what extent they should or shouldn't adopt things more broadly. Ah, this was a great question. And people are trying to give you good answers. Why are you being such an asshat in the comments section? Why do Christian people arbitrarily adhere to only some Bible passages and not others? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.